and if this ain't in a movie, let me produce it. Let me make it. I'll make a movie. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm going to be reacting to an artist that sent me their music. The artist's name is Kitty. She came out with a album called The Dark Age, and I'm really excited to actually dive into this artist because the album cover looks sick. She looks sickening. I might already be a fan, but I really want to listen to this and see what this is is about um before the video starts though like this video and subscribe down below i create new videos every week so let's do this excuse me what amazing i love the actual effect of like somebody opening a can i'm in it let's go 2020 let's do this ah. oh. i love when it's like verses and then she slows it down concert she holds out that note and it like ascends because I feel like that is such a, a great note in the song that mm, oh gee what like hers ah. oh is there anywhere I can buy something to take away the pain sheesh Oh, mans. If if there is a TV show that comes out, like a uh, Riverdale or something, 2020 Kitty, do it. Please, God, do it for me. That would be amazing on a trailer. Like a thriller trailer. Like, I can't even breathe. <laughs> heart it. We're hearting that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like she's leading me literally to somewhere and I love it. Yeah. That Revy was so beautiful. I she reminds me of like a Halsey and uh if you know the art I think that's it's a Cur Carly. I haven't listened to her since I was since uh, Love is Dead. I just love dark pop. That is my favorite. I would love. <laughs> Her voice sounds lovely. Listen to this with headphones so badly, I cannot even. This part, I don't know, it's reminding me of Halsey Badlands vibe era. That's it's just oh, it's so immersive. <laughs> a beautiful zombie <sighs> there was 
a book I used to read when I was younger, and I don't remember what it was called. But I remember the, the, the lead character was Phoebe. And I forget what it was. It was a young adult book, and I used to read it all the time. But she had, in, in every chapter, there was, um... Now I'm really curious. Now I'm really curious. Like, what? What is it? I used to read it all the time. If... Now I'm really upset. I... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. It is called, uh, Generation Dead. I used to read these books all the time when I was younger. And I could, for some reason, it reminded me of that book. And this is what I expected it to sound like. Um... Uh, if I could make a soundtrack for it. it came to my head but if I could do a soundtrack to that book this would be it I'm just saying <laughs> Can we applaud how this is called the dark age and it actually sounds dark there are so many artists who call their album something and it doesn't have that feel for it we love that we're hearting that one what is that sound it sounds like somebody's scratching a disc Descend back down into the verses. <laughs> I was hoping to hear a little more of her vocals in this. She giving those vocals. She giving. Heart in it, that's one of my favorite songs on this album. Period. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Let's go to the next one. Same. Don't have any money, but I'm still gonna scroll and see what I can buy. Same, Gert. Same. Shame, 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 shame. Was delicious. Oh my Jesus. Oh, this beatage. Paris is an underwater Pompeii. Paris is an underwater Pompeii? If you ever told me that would be a lyric, I'd be like, you a lie. Okay. I like that song as well. It's not my favorite, but that chorus is... I can't even make words. That chorus is lovely. And she's talking about dancing in the kitchen. That is a chorus you dance around in your kitchen. Oh, I'm hurting that one too. Oof, oof. Miss 
Melanie. Oh my gosh. That just reminded me so much of Melanie Martinez and I don't know why, but it just... I'm getting Lana Del Rey vibes. Lana, where you at, her? The progression of the song uh, from that chorus down to back to the verses again it's just such a clean transition ah this also reminds me of porcelain and the tramps if you can't imagine this on a TV show That is lovely. Also a heart. I love the mix of when she's doing the verses because the choruses are really where she shines. Ooh. But Peep Show, <laughs> she's like, let's do it on camera. Everybody should just see the show. And I'm like, kinky. <laughs> Again with the atmospheric vibes. I just... When I can feel a song, taste a song, have my senses actually like give me goosebumps, you know that this is good. And I've had this throughout the entire album because literally the sound carries from one song to another and it's just, I want like a full fledged, elongated, like this is great, but can I have more? <laughs> Sickness and you were the cure. Oh, oh, a voluntary captive, something disease. I don't know what she said before disease, but. These lyrics though. The only thing I would recommend for this song is this chorus. Um, I would need a little bit, I think they can push the envelope a little bit more with the chorus of this song. Let me see if they, they do it at the end. This part, should have seen, should have seen it, seen it coming. Like, if you, especially if this is going to be the last chorus, open that up. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like it was right on the surface rather than having the listener feel that way. It's a great song, but I feel like it could have been done to a way to make that hit. I hear the background vocals too of her singing and I wish that was towards the forefront with the song because you could have literally made that chorus just blossom. It's still a great song though, but like that's just my recommendation. Yeah, I feel like this song had the potential of being like a 27 hours bank song. Uh, in that song, she goes, it's been 27 hours till we even saw the sun. And when she says, till we even saw, and she opens that up, the song, I feel like Mint could have been that song for you. And it's not a bad song at all. And I think the way you did it was great i just hope you have that moment on this album because you have the potential to do it i take that back i'm not gonna heart mint I'm not gonna heart it 
just because I feel like it has a potential to be better. Alejandro? <laughs> Lady Gaga, Alejandro? I don't know why that brought me back, but like, Alejandro? Better. Angelina being a mentor on an Angelina Like I don't know why I want that be like I don't know why I want it that way, but like that's what I want. <laughs> this is a very good rendition and I'm glad it has some different uh aspects on the album that is not what we previously heard. But I feel like this could have been more cohesive. Because it has the potential to be really, really good. Uh, but, like, for some reason, I want this to be a little faster. And it is probably because it sounds like a Spanish influence. I just want... Like, I, I want to do a little salsa with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. Stay in my lane. Got it. <laughs> really want to make a cover of the song. It's so good. Oh, Angelina, a criminal. Angelina, what you do, though? He said, no, she said you killed a man. Like, Angelino. No. You can't just go around killing people. If it would have just, if you would have made the beginning a little faster, like this song, and then slowed it down at the end because something is hap- Girl. Angelino has good bones. We hearten this. Period. We hearten it. Yes. beautiful this is the way all title tracks from an album that is named that track should be made i will not accept anything less on this channel but this i love the the way that we're looking at our own defeat and she's praying but like maybe that even is the wrong thing to do like what there are so many layers to the oh This is what I wanted Yes This is Let me not scare nobody but like I told you I was like I, I wish you would just open that Here we are ladies and gentlemen bow down to the king of the dark age if this ain't in a movie let me produce it let me make it i'll make a movie <laughs> This is so good. This is so I wish 
wish for some reason when she started saying over and over and over and over. I wish she would have like extended that a little bit more and then went back because like I can feel the emotion underneath there. <gasps> Let me go back to the song and be civilized. I needed like an explosion at the one that I needed it, but it's fine. Final thoughts on this. This was very good. I am, I am so surprised at how good this was. The Dark Age, favorite track. A hands down favorite track. But there was only one track where I said no to, and it was Mint, because I feel like that could be improved to have the Dark Age kind of sound. I understand she probably wanted to leave it to the end, but I feel like she, if she would have, oh, she slid us a little flavor in there. Because I was not prepared for Dark Age. <laughs> but like, if she could have, she could have slipped. She could have slipped. It's a great start. I, I, I mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't wait to listen to this with my headphones. Especially the Dark. <sighs> if you haven't checked out the song, I will leave the links down below. Stream it, go buy it, support new artists coming up. This was fantastic. Uh, like this video and let me know down in the comment section. Did you listen to it? What song did you like? Subscribe to the channel. I create new videos every week. Kitty, girl, are you touring? Where you at? Let a girl know. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Bye. I just have to play this song one more time. Just one more time. Get, get oh, oh, that chorus. <laughs>